let's go and see how we can create the first effect. So we have our footage and uh, the first thing that I want to do is I want to move forward to the right for 10 frames. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold shift on my keyboard and press the right arrow. That will take me 10 frames to the right. Next step, I'm going to press command B so I can blade it and I'm going to follow this procedure for the next of the clip. Now that we have finished with that, I'm going to go into the transitions, I'm going to select the flow transition and I'm going to place it where the blades are. Remember, for the flow transition to work, you need to wait. You need to be analyzed for optical flow and you need to wait for it to render so you can get the flow to work correctly. And if you see it right now, it looks like this. So that means that we're not done yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to select all of these transitions. And after we select all of them, I'm going to press Ctrl D on my keyboard so I can select how much time the duration that I want for the transitions and I'm going to make them 10. And when the rendering for the flow as well has finished, we're going to see a result that it's going to look like this. Let's go now into the second one. We have a face morph that we move from the first clip to the second clip. For that to work correctly, it's important to have the same place of eyes, mouth, ear, etc. of the face from the clip one to the clip two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the second clip here as you can see I'm going to select it and I'm going to go into the inspector panel and lower the opacity so I can have an idea of what I want to accomplish here and now I will zoom and then click on transform to adjust it to be exactly where I want it to be to match eyes mouth ear with the second clip when I'm finished with that I'm going to place it again next to the clip I'm going to go into the transition, select the flow, place it between the two clips and the result is going to look like this. And of course, from here, I can adjust the duration of the transition that I want to have. So if I stretch it a little bit more, it's going to take longer for the flow transition to happen. If I'm going to make it smaller, like this one here, it's going to be faster. The flow transition can be used for a lot of different things and also it's a very good uh, transition that you can use it as an effect as well in your clips as you saw here and a very good example is a video from Kale Pike that he makes transitions between cameras or elements and I will point you to that video to see exactly how he does that you will find a link in the description of this video down below and of course a link is popping right now on the top right corner. I hope you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to the channel for more content like this one. Thank you so much for watching, I'm Emilio and I will see you in the next video.